Welcome to Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. Bluegrass Home and Garden TV is brought to you by Jimmy Nash Homes, Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, Springhouse Gardens, Back Construction, and by Dinger's Hearth Patio and Grill. Join us now for Bluegrass Home and Garden TV with Amber Canoy. Hey, we are back with Rob Hunley. Still the same house that we were before and earlier. Now we're inside, so this is the main living room area, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's talk about what changed here because from the pictures, a, a lot has changed. Yes. Basically in this room, the things that are most notable is you'll notice the new windows. Right. Throughout the home, we added new crown molding. Every surface was touched, meaning we repainted the entire house. What about the floors, Rob? The floors were refinished. There okay. was existing hardwood down, but you can see they've been refinished, mm -hmm. added a little color to them. And then, of course, we redid some lighting and added some uh, audio. All right. Now, in this room? This is the dining room. Uh, previous to this, it had wallpaper on the wall. What we did is took the wallpaper off, added some new crown molding, added the chair rail, and redid the floors and, of course, the new windows in the background. Now, we're going to have to uh, go into the kitchen because this is one of my favorite parts. Yes. All right, it's a great go. kitchen. Well, Rob, these pictures... Uh, you, you, you can't even tell this is the same kitchen. It's a dramatic difference. I mean, going from the stark white cabinets mm -hmm. to the warm wood, and yes. I love the cork flooring. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of, I can't tell from the picture here, but what kind of flooring was here before? There was kind of an older linoleum down. Okay. Uh, yeah, the cork feels great underfoot, oh, yeah. and it provides such a warm feel to the room. And a lot of people don't realize that it kind of renews itself. I mean, you know, if you drop something on it, I mean, it kind of heals itself, so there's not as much maintenance where. If you drop something on the linoleum, usually you're stuck with a Correct. big ridge into it. So new countertops, I mean, new pretty much everything in here. There's just nothing I can see from this photo that looks the same. That's <laughs> right. We, we even opened up the uh, doorway, made it a wider opening, help open it up to the rest of the house. And then there was a little niche over there where the seating area was before, and we took out those two wing walls, put a beam in, really opened up the space. And of course, she has great taste and picked out some fabulous finishes. And audio. Oh, we did an audio speaker in here as well as all new lighting. All right. Now, in the other parts of the home, in the, in the main bedroom, you added some extra closet space, which I thought was interesting. I mean, what? We did. homeowner doesn't want extra closet space. Exactly. <laughs> in, in the basement, previous to the remodel, the washer and dryer was down there, as it is in much of the uh, houses in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And we were able to enlarge the master closet, make room for a stack washer and dryer. Oh. So now she has the option for either area. She can do laundry in the basement, or if she feels like doing a small load up here in the stack unit, she can do that. Which is really important as we all grow older, which we all do at some point. Right. You know, if you're in a house that has multiple levels, being able to predominantly stay on you know the main level becomes very convenient. Mm -hmm. That was a theme in this remodel, universal design, aging in place. Mm -hmm. It's smart for anybody, whether they're 30, 40, 50, 60. It's just, it's just good design. Now the bathroom. Yes. Drastic difference again. Big but difference You didn't again. add any square footage. Correct. But I mean, just the aesthetic view is just amazing. We worked within the confines of the existing space. One of the popular bathroom models we're doing nowadays is take an existing tub shower combination, make that a walk in shower. And as you can tell, it worked wonders for that bathroom. Now, I know you did some things in the study, also upstairs. What were some of the main focus points upstairs that changed? Upstairs, there was one bathroom, two bedrooms, completely remodeled those areas. It's a fresh new bathroom upstairs, and of course, added moldings and painted and redid the floors up there. And it's, it's as beautiful as the first floor. And the homeowner herself said there was pretty much there's just not even a single surface. That wasn't touched. That is correct. This remodel. Yeah. Well, it's a fabulous job. I know she's yeah. got to be ecstatic. Yeah. <laughs> if people have questions for you, again, how can they get a hold of you? They can get a hold of us by calling the office at 859 225 2225, or they can always check us out on the internet at www.backconstruction.com. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.